Is it hard for most people to imagine what that looks like when you first explain it to them? Yeah, because I don't first explain it to them. I'm doing it with you because you asked in a more expansive way. The way I would normally you know, approach this topic is depending on who you are, well, let's just talk about how this tool not replaces what you have, because it doesn't. How can it become more effective as a business tool? And I think that's why Vadim's done so well in recent times is because we haven't approached it as a science project or as something interesting to kind of showcase where the future is going. We've approached it as a natural evolution of today's set of tools and capabilities to say, well, if you're really looking to reach people in a more ethical, legal, and compliant manner, and you want to gather that data in a way that delivers more value than you're taking, so you can develop a long-term relationship, let's look at that. There are no companies today that don't want to do that, right? Every company, the companies are not inherently evil. They're actually, most companies, I think, want to do good in the world while doing well for their shareholders. In order to do that, they got sucked into this machine because how else do you reach people? You reach people by paying the intermediaries that hold those keys. But as that opens up now, you now have an opportunity to reach people in a way that's more aligned with your own values as an organization. That's why it's so exciting. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, it, it, one thing in your deck you say right in the beginning is you say traditional engagement is dead. And like you said, for most companies for the past five or 10 years, <clears throat> how you find new customers, probably on the internet, probably in these massive web two platforms that have the massive audiences. You've probably done it with ads, probably. Mm -hmm. um, and that's probably not working anymore for a variety of reasons. Yeah. Um, maybe it's the cookie that Apple took out. Maybe it's that people are getting tired of that. In the long run, it's probably not what you want to do anyways. Yeah, exactly. And um, talk to me about how the businesses are starting to realize that. I think you said it really well just now. In the long run, it's probably not how you wanted to do it anyway. Yeah. This is not a problem for these companies. Oh, at first people were freaked out. Apple shut off cookies. What are we gonna do? Oh no, now we can't surreptitiously gather data against people's wills and use it for nefarious purposes. Oh no. <laughs> but, the, the, but then you know, within seconds, you're like, well, okay. <laughs> it maybe disrupts the way we're doing business, but thank you. Yeah. It needed disrupting. So what if we were able to move from interrupting people to being welcomed? What if we could move from an annoyance-based mode of communicating to a value-based one? What if we could actually connect to people where they said, thank you? What else can you do for me or I can do for you? The essence of a relationship, any relationship, is being able to feel like you're giving more than you're receiving on both sides <laughs> right. and feel like that's giving you purpose, that there's a reason to spend your time on it and it's nourishing you. I think this, this idea of, of um, just kind of showering people with, with, with uh, messages based on stuff that they know wasn't really gathered for them appropriately about them is creepy to people. You don't want that, but it's very different to give people what they do want. I've never heard of a bride go to her guest and say, you bastard, you violated my privacy, looked at my wedding registry, reviewed the things I asked for, went out of your way to get me something, and then bought it for me. I feel violated. It's never happened. <laughs> because they, this, is, this is a thank you relationship, right? This is what we call zero party data. First party data is what you glean in an ethical way for maybe an initial value exchange. Zero party data is what you earn over time when someone says, hey, this is a really great relationship. Thank you. You know, I'm going on vacation over here in Florida this day. You know, I just want to let you know if you got anything interesting for me. You know, you, you start to say, I like basketball. I'm this. I have a, three people in my home. You start to tell about yourself, not permanently, but for the time that that aspect of your identity you wish to share with this group because you're feeling comfortable with them. And they're earning it every day. Advertising doesn't earn you the right to communicate with someone every day, but the next generation of advertising will. It's advertising, marketing, and loyalty collapsed into one. 
To continue watching the rest of the episode for free, visit our website, londonreal.tv, or click the link in the description below. Thank you.